What's going on guys? Chase Daniel here. This is the Chase Daniel Show and today we are going to dig into Caleb Williams with the, the news that Justin Fields has been traded to the Pittsburgh Steelers. The only two quarterbacks on the Chicago Bears roster are Tyson Bajant and Brett Rippon. Yeah, they're going to pick Caleb Williams number one overall. I'm excited to break down this film because I think he can be really special. It's just how fast can he become special? Let's break it down right here, right now. All right, guys, Caleb Williams, Colorado. <clears throat> Thought this was a uh, great game by him. Uh, it's been a while. I miss you guys. I haven't done a breakdown in about 10 days. Love this. Um, I picked Caleb's first game uh, that I did on the YouTube channel. If you don't know, just go over there, hit subscribe, hit like, you'll get them to your inbox. Um, but I did it against Notre Dame. And um, what I did here was I thought Notre Dame was probably his worst game that he played, and I thought Colorado was his best game. So we're going to go through this film. There's 11 plays. Uh, right here, they're running like this double slant concept, but instead of running a slant from the outside, all right, this guy's just going to sort of sit. And I want you to watch, Caleb. This is play four um, in the pocket. Colorado, I know they weren't a great team later in the year, but they started off really hot. Um I just want you to watch his feet right here and what he's able to do. Um, like really good job on third down right here by just finding the open man. And he's looking inside right here. His feet are set right there. This slant window needs to wrap around this uh, Mike linebacker right here or this Will linebacker, depending on what, what you call formation strength. And he doesn't quite get there in time. He's supposed to wrap around and he can sit versus zone. And you can see here, this is like an in sit versus zone as well. Okay, you have this little bite route up top. It's a corner stop. <clears throat> so Caleb is reading one right here to two. And I just want you to watch his progression right here on what he does. He's one, nope, reset, two. That's something that I've really noticed <clears throat> with Caleb. He throws really well off platform. This is another thing that I like. He went up there on third down, saw what the coverage was going to be, and he checked to it. Okay, let's see him right here. Look, he's up there. He's making everything known. Hey, hey, we're doing this. We're doing, you know, pencil, 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 or whatever he's calling right there. He's getting the protection set. Okay, it's a five-man protection, or five-man uh, front right here. So this back is going to scan across. He knows he's protected. Okay, I want you to watch his eyes right here, too, with the step fo footwork. His feet are really good, definitely the best in the draft. This is where he's looking at this little wrap route right here, which can sit for his zone. Not there, and I want you to watch, pump fake, get back to it, and look how easily he's able to make this throw in a tight pocket. This is that arm talent we're talking about. Pump, watch this, left tackle gets ran back, right there. It's really, really good. Not He's he's the best one in the draft at doing this, and it's not even close. Um, and when the pocket gets tight, I think that's when he gets really good. You see him escape the pocket a lot this year. It's because his O-line and his receivers weren't great, all right? Seven nothing right here. Trips formation. Um, I thought they ran a little bit more NFL based play uh, and style of play in this game than I thought the Notre Dame game. Play fake right here. He's going oh, just overthrew it. Like uh, this is this is uh, this is an NFL type concept right here. You're just running drive. Okay, so you're running a shallow cross. It's called a drive concept. If you're new to the channel, shallow cross, four to six yards, sit for zone. You're going to run versus man coverage. This is obviously zone coverage. You have a basic route, so you're really reading one to two. And then you have this like stutter in. Sometimes you can run a post over top of it. I think they're running a stutter in. This is three. And you're like, Chase, how in the world did he get to this post? Well, this post right here is an alert. So pre snap read. He's seeing this post because it's a quarters coverage. They call it an umbrella coverage quarters because there's one, two, three, four defenders. I want you to watch this free safety. Sometimes there's different coverages on cover four. There's quarters and there's four cheat. Four cheat, if you're listening and following along, four cheat is when this free safety, he cheats to number three. Even though he's running a shallow cross, he's already 10 yards down. So I think Caleb's eyes need to go directly to him on the snap which is exactly what they do. He's looking right at this safety. This safety's feet are set with this play fake. Watch it get these backers up, and then you just have pure speed. This corner is actually doing the right thing, staying on the outside.
and you just have such, oh, so close to being a huge play. Really good footwork, one, two, three, hitch ball. This is one he wants back. We can't just show the good ones, and you can see right here the little reaction by Caleb. Watch him right there in that corner. Just missed it. Let's see it right here, exactly what we said. Look at his eyes. His eyes are directly on 43. You got a shallow cross coming. You got a play fake right at him. As long as you get this safety right here to just flat foot, then you got a chance for a huge play. Love his base, love his footwork. Okay, he can get a little bit crazy in the pocket when he doesn't have time. He understands, hey, how many guys are they rushing? Only three, that means there's eight in coverage, four deep, four under. This safety knows he's screwed up. Launch Ola, throws such a perfect deep ball, usually really accurate, just missed that one. Next play, third and four right here. All right, all up, this is what NFL defenses are doing, all right? You got a D lineman, D lineman, linebacker, D lineman, D lineman, linebacker. So you got six up, empty personnel, or empty, empty formation right here, okay? Going through his reads, going through his scramble, and this is what he's really, really good at. This is what separates Caleb Williams at the next level, this scramble type play where he's always just trying to extend the play. And it's not anything crazy in terms of uh, the play call. Like it's, it's actually pretty simple. It's literally just an out route right here. Uh, a seam route versus quarters you can bend. Okay, quarters is co cover four. And versus cover two you can bend. And then there's an outside release go. And you have a hook here or a curl here versus single high zone. Okay, so he's working over here. He's trying to throw this little stick route, not there. You can't throw this, everything's covered. And guess what, that happens in the NFL. You have a, um, a tight end up top leaking out, not there. This is where he makes magic happen. I've never seen, I'm being real, I've never seen a quarterback scramble to his left and throw the ball as well as he throws the ball as Caleb Williams does. And I'm being honest with that. A lot of quarterbacks go to the right, not him. Okay, watch him. He's trying to throw this. Not there. All right. I like it. They're only rushing three. I wouldn't do that with Caleb. He can buy a lot of time with his extra hitches and motions. And look, a lot of guys right here, they see green grass. They see green grass right there and they just want to run. Not Caleb. And it's shown time and time again, especially going to your left. Keep your eyes down the field. Make someone happen. Make someone uh, make something happen. Make someone miss. And this throw. This throw right here is absolutely bonkers. Like, first of all, how do you see that? Second of all, I know you can't really see it because uh, there's a lineman. That looks like the Air Jordan symbol, man. Like, that is freaking awesome. What a bullet. Ends up being a huge play, huge touchdown for the Trojans. All right. Next play, two by two formation. All right. They like this little tight end off to help them. Uh, Get somebody in protection. Let's see what we got here. Play fake. NFL style play right here too. So good. Another touchdown. A little bit behind them right here. But I thought this was really good. Okay, you're going to go play action. So you got a crosser and a crosser and a post corner right there. Where you're, um, it's like a mini shake route. Three steps, three steps, and then go. You want to alert that. First man, if you have a guy that can do some shake, if not, then you're just reading one, okay, right here to two, really good play action, okay, and this coverage is like cover zero double hole, so everyone's got a man, everyone's got a man, these safeties are sort of robbing, all right, and I want you to watch with this play fake, it actually helps too, both of these guys are ended up doubling, 15 is getting across there, really good eyes, understanding, okay, and this is a tough throw too, because the running back just gets sidestepped right here, and he has to throw it a little bit behind him, but so good in the red zone too, especially in his 2022 film, which we might break down, but this is so good. Like one-on-one, -on -one, you think you're protected, not, not happening. Running back whiffs, you're backing up to buy some time. Okay, you see this guy coming a little bit uh, behind him right here, but such a good throw. Like this is, this is what the Bears, I mean, could use he's not really a scrambler in terms of just running but he's excellent within the pocket and I think that's what separates him out of anyone in the entire draft okay you have a halfback all the way out here you have a tight end back here let's see what they're doing oh so easy 
Look at it. And this is what I really like about this play too, is you're doing pretty much like double go right here. Okay, you have a bender, you should have a go and then some sort of underneath routes, but you're two on one in this safety right here. Okay, this is the safety you want a two on one and just such a good throw. And this is what, the throw is impressive because he's wide open. He's letting the ball go and these guys are even. A lot of college quarterbacks, see how wide these safeties are? A lot of college quarterbacks would put a lot of air on the football, meaning like, hey, we call it a, a, a three ball. Three ball is the highest type of ball you can throw. One ball is when you drive it. A two is like an intermediate and a three ball is like a lollipop. This is a freaking one ball <clears throat> right here and it's right on his chest. Perfect play call, perfect time. Throw in on time and in rhythm, especially in the red zone, is what makes all the difference in the world, especially in the college game. Love that he was able to do this. His eyes are really right on here. As soon as this safety goes, he knows he's got speed down the middle of the field on a pipe route is what we call it. All right, really good job. One, two, three, hitch ball. Look how fast that ball gets there. He knows he's got it. Pre-snap. He's literally just like out of the corner of his eye. I guarantee you he's looking there. He's just making sure this linebacker doesn't go. Okay, this guy goes this way. All this stuff goes through quarterbacks' minds. And when you can process it like he can, like a high-level processor, that's what separates him, in my opinion. All right, here we go. Looks like pressure. What are we doing here? Okay, they're bringing it off the edge. And this is just, I mean, this is a sweet play right here to me. Just... Simple play action, you're throwing a hitch on second and long. And I just wanted to put this on there because uh, the arm strength, we talked about the talent, okay? And they're really just doing like a corner and a post and a shallow cross. And this is an alert, okay? If you get off coverage, you can just take it. He sees the pressure, he does a little play fake. His eyes are this way, he knows where his outlet is. His outlet's over here. Watch this throw because this corner's sitting on it. Okay, gets there. The receiver is actually a, a bad route. He falls backwards, but stuff like this, like it, it very rarely in the NFL are you throw them from a really clean pocket. So when you're able to do this, your feet are this way. Everything's telling everyone this way. He knows exactly where he's going because it's single high. The corner and the post are not great versus single high. So he's, hey, I got to get out of here. Watch him speed up his feet right there. He's off balance a little bit. He's able to throw it on the outside shoulder. That's what's impressive to me about Caleb. Next play. Three by one formation, another red zone. I like breaking quarterbacks down in the red zone. Everything happens faster. And just this to me is, is all time. Like, first of all, oh man, this is sweet. So a couple times in the game, they corner catted, which means they're bringing the corner pressure. Okay, they, they have side adjustments. And what the side adjustment is, hey, if he pressures, you got to break hot. All right, so watch Caleb right here, understands it, he sees it. It's a run, okay, it's a run first. This is just a little outlet right there if you can do it. He says, I'm gonna take it, watch when he throws this. He's already throwing it, the receiver is just a five yard out, hasn't even got his head around. This safety has to come all the way off the middle of the field. He understands the weaknesses in defenses and he's able to do it from platforms that I really haven't seen. Okay, watch this, so this is a handoff all the way. Okay, you're pulling the guard here. This would have been good, but you got two outside. He was told, hey, as soon as you see this corner, just flip it out there for me. It's exactly what he does right there. This is what's impressive. A lot of guys cannot make this throw. A lot of guys have to get their feet set, everything set toward their target, not Caleb. That's what makes him a true number one. All right, 34 to 14, two by two formation, tight formation. This looks like an NFL formation to me. This is, this is crazy. All right, maybe not the throw and it's for five yards, but I want you to watch the pocket movement right here. <clears throat> because what they're doing, it's really an out route at 10, a corner route on top. This is dead versus cover two. You got to get back here and find something to, for the zone coverage because it's not open over there. You're really just reading it one to two to three down here. All right, and he actually ends up going through it. So he's, he's going there at one. All right, you got some trouble, you feel it. Watch what he does. A lot of guys, I'm telling you, would just step up in the pocket. He steps up in the pocket, then steps back in the pocket and gets himself set and gets to his third read, okay? They're running like a little corner stop right here, which I like. 
Ball security moves up in the pocket. Watch him on a play it in slow motion, moves back in the pocket. He's able to reset. It's going to be so much better from the other view, but I wanted to show this. And he's able to find a completion, which a lot of people would just skip. And a lot of people would just step up in the pocket. This B gap right here is pretty wide open. A lot of people would just find that. Such a good job understanding the feel of the pocket. That's what separates him. I've said it enough. I got it. But watch him step up. Step back. Okay, he's backing up. Like, are you kidding me right there? Like, that's high level. That's next level stuff. It's really, really good. <clears throat> and watch, look where he throws it from. Okay, his eyes are left, and that's where he's throwing it from. He doesn't need everything going in this direction because the arm talent that he has. Next play. All right. Three by one, motion over the back. Let's see what we got here. Back shoulder, perfect. NFL style throw. This is definitely an NFL play, all right? And it's just like hitches and you have an inside fade. And it's hard to do an inside fade right here when you have outside leverage. He lets this receiver buy some leverage. He understands it's man to man. So everyone's got a man. Get to your man beater. A lot of guys would just throw this like, it's hard for this receiver to get out. He trusts the receiver. A lot of guys would just throw this up and let the receiver go run to it. He sees that he's even. Okay, he's throwing it as he's almost getting hit. These two guys are even. If anything, the receiver's behind him. So he says, hey, I'm just going to give it a 50-50 ball. Receiver, I just want you to go out and make a play. It's exactly what he does right here. <clears throat> Another top-notch throw, in my opinion, by Caleb. Moving the back over. Understanding where it's going. Okay. Really good job as he's getting hit, okay? And I want you to watch his eyes. He knows he's working over here to this inside fade. That's where he's working. So he has to hold this free safety because there's a lot of room. The college hashes are a lot wider. So you gotta hold this free safety. Let's see if he does that. Watch his eyes. He knows where he's going, okay? As long as this guy doesn't get any further going this way, we're good to go, okay? He holds him. Watch this free safety go back a little bit to the right. He's able to understand, all right, I got you. It's one-on-one -on -one with my guy. Take the shot. <clears throat> you can't get there. And a perfect throw. A couple more right here. Another red zone. Three by one. <laughs> I rarely put in completions on. But watch this play. Are you kidding me? First of all, the pocket, it's just a little slant route, okay? He's going to go back. The tight end's going to cut. It's a play action pass, a little pop pass to this slant. I want you to see what happens right here. Okay, you got a defensive end screaming up the field. Caleb's cool. This tight end takes a bad angle. He's got to throw it around <clears throat> this guy and around the free safety with inside leverage on the slant. Very low probability of making this throw. Watch what he does right here. He moves over to the right and throws a dime that's dropped. We're going to see it from this view. Watch this. Okay, he moves to the right off Kelter and throws it. <clears throat> these are the type of throws, even if it's not completed, that these NFL scouts, these GMs, Ryan Poles, Matt Eberflus, all these guys are really salivating on because I think it's just the talent is there, especially when you can go out and get Keenan Allen. You got DJ Moore. You got everyone. Uh, Cole Komet, <clears throat> Gerald Everett, two tight ends. And this is, I mean, just this is... Once again, like it's the red zone and he's making plays. He's getting a, a back run over. Okay. They're just running like this double post right here. And he's able to get somebody at his feet and make this throw in a tight pocket, which is an NFL tight pocket. Like that's what it is on a dart with accuracy. Receiver catches the football. Look, Caleb Williams will be the number one pick because plays like this. And it's not always great. And yeah, he had a lot of fumbles. He only threw five interceptions. But these are the plays that separate Caleb Williams from everyone else.